Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Got another tutorial for you and we're doing the snake trail paracord bracelet and that is this weave here. So for those of you that are familiar with the hex nut, hex nut bracelet, uh, I believe that was by Kevin House, uh, this is essentially the same weave except it's done with a snake knot down the center and I believe this was that was uh, incorporated by Michelle Fail or File, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, it'll be a uh, in the description below. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is the snake trail. It's not too hard to do. Uh, a little more time consuming though. But overall, I think the end result is uh, worth it. It's very nice to look at. And um, yeah, we'll be doing this with the buckle and the uh, double cow's hitch two strand core. And yeah, this is done in the gray and uh, orange. Okay, so let's get to the tutorial. All right, so I got my paracord set up. I've got the double cow's hitch uh, two strand core and I'm using a jig today. So this is set up on the jig like this. If you don't know how to do this two, two strand core with the double cow's hitch, I have a specific tutorial for that and I'll link this in the video. I've got that set up with gray and uh, I will also annotate this specific amount that I'll be using. I've got my gray paracord set up. I've got a separate strand of orange. Okay. So uh, just to avoid any wastage, I'll let you know exactly the amount I use at the end or just annotate it in the video. Okay, so we're going to start with our two outer strands and we're going to go over. So I'm going to take the right strand. I'm going to go over the strand on the right and come through that loop we just made. Just bring that up like there. And same thing on the other side. I'm going to go over strand on the left, put it through the loop we just made, like that. Okay, now we're going to integrate our accent color. I've got my orange on a fid. You don't need a fid for this, but I just want to use a fid so it's extremely clear. We're going to put the orange basically going through one side going through here and one through here. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put it through here and through here. Like that. Okay. I'm going to remove our fid. Now we tighten up, and this is going to set up the start of our bracelet. Okay. So we want that there. The start of this bracelet again will be a little tricky like most. Try to get those knots up there as tight as you can. Okay, so now I've got my accent attached here and I've got the two first knots up here. So now we can start the uh, main part of the weave. Okay, next up we're going to tie a single snake knot because it's the snake trail and it's going to be a series of snake knots, uh, single snake knots going down the center of the bracelet. So to do that we're going to take the strand on the left, we're going to make a loop this, like that. I'm going to take the strand on the right, I'm going to go behind here and go through this loop here. Okay, and then we're going to pull this tight and cinch it all the way up. This is kind of the trickiest part of this bracelet is when you tie these snake knots you want to eliminate, see all that gap up there? You want to eliminate as much of that as possible and uh, push that all the way up. Okay, so now we got a single snake knot up there. We can go back to our gray. So we went over on, uh, on our first knot, so now we're gonna go under. Okay, so before we went over, now we're gonna go under the strand on the right, so right, right strand with right strand, and we're gonna put this through that. And then we're going to pull this tight. So as you can see we essentially just formed a, a cow's hitch on this side. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we went over, now we're going to go under and through the loop. Okay. So 
So that's the first set of knots there. So now that we've completed that first set of knots, we're essentially just going to repeat the same thing. So remember up here when we first started, we did uh, over and we basically attached the paracord, the orange in. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over, but this time we're going to go over both strands. Okay, over the gray and the orange, and then back through back through that loop we created, and we tighten. Okay, same thing on this side. I'm gonna go over both strands, underneath, and through. Like that. And tighten. Then from here again, we uh, do another single snake knot. I'm gonna go a little faster this time. Tighten this up, cinch it all the way up. You're going to definitely just have to play with this to get all the uh, gaps out. Okay, like that. That's pretty good. There will be a, a slight gap there. But the more tight you make it, you can make it look nicer with fewer gaps. Okay, so we did uh, our snake knot, single snake knot. Now we're going to go again. We did over. So now we're going to do under again. So underneath here. And we're only going under the outer strand because uh, we've already attached it. Okay, so under like that. So anytime you're going under, it's when you're doing the knot beside the snake knot and you're not attaching the cords together. So again, one more time on this side, uh, we went over, now we're gonna go under just the gray. Okay, tighten it. And there you go, that's pretty much it. So we see I've done two cycles, or two sets of knots, and that's basically it. We attach it, uh, we went over, attach the rope, tie the snake knot, go under, and then back to the over, attach the rope, and then under, uh, beside the snake knot, and that's just over and over again, right? So we're just gonna continue weaving uh, all the way down, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I'm just about done weaving. I've taken my raise it here off the jig. Now to finish off, we've got our last two strands here on the sides. I'm just going to pass them through the bottom here, through the bottom, and then through this last loop. Don't get it caught on your orange here. So it just went through the bottom and back out again like we did before. Um, it doesn't really matter if you go through the bottom or top. I think the bottom looks a little better. You're going to do that on one side. I'm going to do that same on the other side. I'm going to take the last strand. Go through the bottom here. Okay. Like that. Okay. Through the bottom. I'm going to tighten that up. All right. So we've got these finished off. Now to finish off, finish off the orange, I'm just going to take our fid, attach it to our orange, and then I'm going to put it through this last bottom loop here, here where uh, we did our cow's hitches. Pull that through. And to do that for both, I really need to get a second fid. Okay. Like that. So now we can snip and singe the excess here, here, 
make sure you melt those nicely and press it down so it doesn't uh, come loose. And also we can do these. Now these, um, you can actually tuck them back up if you want, or you can just snip and singe and melt them right there. I think it'll do fine just like that. All right, and there we have it, guys. I'm done. So I've snipped and singed off the excess paracord. Everything looks nice and clean, pretty good. And again, here's the presentation side. I'll show you one last close-up look. This really nice design. So this one is a bit more time-consuming, but I think you guys will like it. So, uh, you know, overall, really, really nice design. Okay, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if there's anything that was unclear, if you're, if you're unsure of, please do leave a comment or question down below. Be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And I do stick till the end to check out any and all related tutorial videos or any other videos that you guys might like. And if you haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe. That will really help me out. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial video. Thanks.